to save and load your game the first thing you want to do is create a save game class so just right click in your content browser go to blueprint class go down here to all classes and search for save game right here select and then call this bp save game do not worry about this widget right here i just have this set up for testing purposes so now go ahead and open up your save game this is sort of just a place to store values to be saved for instance on my character i created your value one your value two right here the reason these are named your value is because these could be health these could be hunger values these could be ammo values you name it but for simplicity i just did your value and so inside the save game i want to create those two variables i want to do your value one and make sure this is a float and do your value two and as well as i'm going to do a transform i'm going to do character transform just like that and i'm going to switch this to a transform all right now we can compile and save this all right so now we can go ahead and go to our first person character or third person character and as you can see in here i have it set up a little different this is just my testing values like i said over here your value one your value two this is just so i can change the values in the game and this is so i can display that widget that i created and as you can see this says tutorial begin play i just did that so that it's, it's still off of begin play but it's just calling a function right here tutorial begin play just so it can be separate from all of this for the tutorial and so basically for a save game there are two different functions that go into this one function is save the game and the other function is load the game it's sort of easier to start off with save game so let's do that first you want to drag off of the pin and search for does save game exist right here and for the slot name we just want to make this super easy and just pass this value so we only have to type it in once and off of does save game exist you want to do a branch right here and if the save game does exist then what we want to do is simply load game from slot right here just like that because it exists so we can just load it and then the slot name is going to be our value we have right here so just right click and do slot name get slot name right there hook this up and then right click this return value and promote this to a variable and call this save game ref just like that because we're going to need it down here in the false path all right so now on the false path you want to create save game object right here because again if this is does save game exist if this is false then you want to create the object and for the class right here we want to do our bp save game as you can see unreal has their own save game so just make sure you put some size either name it different or put some sort of modifier like bp on it where you can tell that this is yours because you could get it confused with unreal's so select bp save game and drag off of this return value right here and do set save game ref like that all right so that's basically what both of these true and false paths have to do so we can drag off of this and do a cast to save game right here. And then we could drag this one over as well. You can only have one object, but since either way we're either loading it or we're creating it, it doesn't matter which one you plug in because this value will always be valid. And basically what this cast does right here is it allows us to access all our variables over here. And remember, your value is like health, 
it's ammo, it's whatever you want to save. You could have 10 values, you could have 2 values, you could have 5, doesn't matter. And so head back over here and basically what we can do is drag off of this and say set your value 1 like that. Connect this up, drag off of it again and do set your value 2 like this. Connect this up. And then drag off of it once more and do set transform. Character transform right here. And connect that up as well. And your value 1 is going to be your value 1 right here. So you just get it and connect it up. Your value 2 is going to be your value 2 right here. Get and then connect it up. And again, this is health, ammo, whatever you want to save. And then for the character transform, we don't really have a variable down here for it. So what we're going to do is drag off of this and do get actor transform like this. And this will just return the scale of our character, the location, and the rotation. Alright, so now as you can see, we have accessed these values and we have changed them over here in our storage. Because we're setting them from the character. But now we have to actually save each one of these values and to do this you want to drag off of this and just search for save game to slot and click that and for the save game object you want to drag in your save game ref get save game ref and for the slot name remember how we have our function value right over here you can just copy this from this one and paste it right over here and connect this up this is just so that we can guarantee that in each one of these nodes it's all the same value no matter what so make sure you compile and save and we can head on to the load game function over here in the load game it's a lot simpler and this first part right here is actually the exact same so you want to copy this and just paste it right on over here into load game and once again drag your slot name right there and connect this up like that this time on the true and false path we only want to do the true path because if the save game does not exist we cannot really load anything from it we can't load something from something that doesn't exist so off of true do load game from slot right here and for the slot name just right click and do slot name get slot name connect that up and then now off of this return value we can do a cast to save game right here and this is going to be the exact same as the save game over here but instead of setting each value, what we're actually going to be doing is getting each value. So then off of your BP save game right here, you want to do get your value 1. And then get your value 2. And then get transform, character transform right here. And then you want to set these values to the values in your variables down here. So your value 1, drag in your value 1, hook it up right there. Connect that up like that. Your value 2, drag it right there. And if you just drag and drop it on the little pin, it automatically makes a set for it. For it. That's just a little tip. And then for the character transform... You want to, just like over here, how we set the, if we got the actor transform to set it, we want to now set actor transform right over here, like that. And that is our load game function completed. So we can compile and save this, and now we can actually call these functions over in the event graph. So to save the game, I'm already using 1 and 2 to adjust these values in the game. And just another simple value for me would be like tab or something. 
And you could do this in like a widget or something whenever you press a save game button. Which you would just call, you would just make a cast to the character and call save game whenever you press the save game button. On like a pause screen or something. So it's basically the same system. This would just be on a button instead of tab. So off of pressed, I'm going to say save game. Call our function right here. And for the slot name, I'm just going to call it slot1. Press enter. And just so you can see that the save actually works, I'm going to do a print screen right here. And I'm just going to leave it as hello because I don't have any other print strings in here. And then why I have a sequence here is because you could do your load game off of this. You could say load game whenever it starts like that. Or you could just go up here and let's say caps. And keep in mind this, whenever you load game, you may want to do this when the character dies. Like I said, whenever the game opens, calling the load game is the same as save game. You just drag off of this and call our function load game right here. And for the name, it's going to be slot1. You can make a global variable for this, but it's just two. And if you keep the name simple can't really mix them up too bad and for the load game I'm not gonna add a print string because it's obvious whenever you can see the game load and so yeah we can compile and save and test this out alright so if we launch the game as you can see our two bars are down here so if I press 1 as you can see this bar fills up I can do it about a quarter of the way and let's say this bar let's do about half the way and if I come over here into like a random location and I press tab, as you can see, it says hello in the top left. That means the game is saved. And say I come over here, back over here, and I set these values all the way full like this. And then remember our caps lock is the load game. So if I hit caps lock, it takes us back over here and our game is loaded. And yeah, it doesn't matter if those values change or not. Even if I just move and I hit caps lock, it brings me back over here. I could stay in the same spot and just adjust the values. And it brings them back to what they were. And, and yeah, in this last part, I'd like to mention that a very small portion of you who watch the videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy the videos and you're not subscribed already, subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.